I, I will probably never forget that day when this person called me out and asked if I got into an accident because of my acne scarring. The first memory I have of someone talking about my skin was when I was 20 years old. And it was my nephew. It was actually after I had done my skincare routine that night and I was going to bed and he stopped me and he said, why is your face so dirty? That was something that like really hurt me. My grandma came over one day to my house and she just walked up to me and I had a big cyst on my face and she said, oh honey, what's wrong with your face? It was something that stuck in my head forever. I've never like forgotten that moment. So the first time I can remember somebody talking about my skin was kind of around the family dinner table and just it coming from my family of a place of like wanting to help. But I think that's when I really realized, oh my gosh, my skin is really bad. <laughs> In my first year out of high school, I started tutor teaching. So at the center, these young kids would stare at my skin and they'll be like, Miss, why do you have so many holes in your face? The first time somebody has picked on my skin and this happened back in high school, I, I will probably never forget that day when this person called me out and asked if I got into an accident because of my acne scarring. So my first memory of someone talking about my skin is from first year of college when I heard a girl say that I would look much better without acne and acne scars and it's a shame that I have them and of course that put me into a really really bad mood. I didn't wear makeup on a portion of my skin that day because it was particularly irritated and inflamed and infected and a co-worker walked up to me and stared at me and said, wow, you're breaking out. And all I could say was, yeah, I know. I felt so defeated and so ashamed. The first time I noticed somebody commented on my skin was in middle school, sixth grade in math class. And he said something like, out of the blue, like, it's not that hard, just wash your face. And that was a time I realized that it wasn't only me that noticed my acne, it was everybody else. So my first record of someone talking about my skin had to be in middle school. In class, and people are saying, what is that? And I always had those comments in class with people saying, oh, I have good skin, you have bad skin. And, you know, that definitely would hurt my confidence.